Hey guys, so it doesn't look like Bosley is doing too good right now. In case you can't tell, he looks like he's in a lot of pain and it looks like he's in a lot of discomfort. He doesn't look like the normal Bosley. He's moving very, very slow. It looks like it pains him just to walk. He's breathing very, very hard. His eye looks like it's in terrible condition today. He just looks like he's in a lot of pain. And before we continue with this video, I just ask that everybody please keep Bosley in your prayers because he is a part of our family and everybody loves him very, very, very much. He doesn't look like he's doing too good right now. So a prayer for Bosley would go a long way. So today is a very scary day for everybody who lives in this house because Bosley, who is our little baby, you know, we call him the king of the house. He's not doing too good. He didn't look like Bosley. He didn't move like Bosley. He didn't eat like Bosley. Um, he just looked sick. And the entire Awadis family is, we're, we're so scared because Bosley is, he's the little baby of this family. We all love Bosley and we can't ever imagine anything ever happening to Bosley. We're not 100% sure what is going on with Bosley, so we're gonna take him to the vet, you know, just to be safe. Hopefully, hopefully everything is fine. You know, I'm a man, you know, I don't like to show fear. It's just, I don't know, it's just in my blood. Like, I don't like to show fear. I don't like to show that I'm scared, but when it comes to Bosley, it's like, I'm scared, I'm, I'm worried. Like, I don't know what the vet is gonna say. He doesn't look good and like, I, I don't like, I don't want to say it like, cause I don't know guys, like I, I don't want to say it, but I've never lost a dog of mine. Um, I, that's like, it's just one of my biggest fears. So I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous. I don't know. Uh, I don't know guys. This, this whole family is just, we're worried. We're scared and we don't, we don't know what to do guys. Are you okay, Bosley? You look down ever since yesterday. You look tired. You look like you don't want to do anything. You want to go to the vet and get checked out just in case? Yeah, we're going to take you to the vet. Dad, what's wrong? He's just like breathing really hard. I don't know. It's, it's bad. Well, we're, we're going to go get him checked. How's he doing? He's never been like this. You know, he's a happy dog. Today was hard for him even to eat. Bosley, are you okay? We need to go to the vet. Just so sad to see him like this. Not Bosley. Like, he makes you feel bad. Look, the way he look at you, like, the way he was looking at me, like, help or something. We don't know what's wrong, but he's just not Bosley. Like, no. this isn't Bosley. But, Mom, I think we should go to the vet right now. Go in the car. Come here, Bosley. Okay, Bosley, <laughs> you get to ride in the G-Wagon. <laughs> One, two, ten, we're heavy. Hey, Mom, huh? uh, why does Bosley get a shotgun and I have to sit in the back? It's Bosley, what are you talking It's King Bosley. <laughs> it's the king. <laughs> okay, Bosley, go ahead, take my shotgun. I'll chill in the back, it's fine, it's fine. Anything for Bosley. Guys, he's breathing so hard. Bosley. Are you okay? We're almost there. We're almost at the vet. They're gonna get you back to normal, okay? Okay guys, so we just made it to the pet hospital. I think, oh, Bosley knows where we are. He does not want to come down. Bosley, you have to. This is the only way you're gonna get better. Good boy, Bosley, you freaking loaf of bread. Come on, let's go, let's go. Good boy, let's go. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, so this is uh, Bosley's worst nightmare, the scale. Bosley, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Guys, so Bosley found a good hiding spot. Unfortunately, I think the doctor is still gonna find him, but look, Bosley. I mean, that's not the best hiding spot, dude. The doctor is still gonna find you. Um, so, you know, with Bosley, it sounds like there's been some new changes. He's just kind of... Not doing so well, so we're gonna take a good look at him and see if we can find something that can maybe help. Cool. Yeah, it's like he doesn't have enough problems and on top of it. Well, that's, you know, it's something we're gonna look into a little bit. Yeah, he's hiding. 
Yeah, Bosley. He think if he can't see you, he can't see him. Oh. Bosley, come out. So I know we're here for some issues. Bosley, come here. Here. Oh my God. Yeah. And then I don't know, like if this is accurate at all. I don't know if you've ever heard anything like this. So what he's been doing recently is like going between like cracks, like behind a cabinet or whether it's like a behind a door. He he'll like, hide. yeah, he'll like try to fit behind like cracks. I posted it on my story and I got a message from someone. Yeah, I just want to read like the full message because I don't know, uh, he just said, uh, I hate to say this and I hope this isn't the reason, but I've had several pugs growing up, four of them, and when they were getting ready to pass away, they'd look to get inside of small areas or tight places. The vet said they know they're about to pass, so they want to try to be as comfortable and they always do it in dark areas or spaces. I'd rush into the vet or at least call. I don't know if you've ever heard anything about that. That's why I just wanted to ask you if like anyone has ever came in with the same problem and it resulted in like obviously the dog passing or I know. Um, personally, I have gone through that where I've had a chihuahua that was very older, had no issues at all, but we knew he was very old. He ran away one night and never came back. Mm. Same with our cats. But, um, I mean, they they care and love for us the same way we do. Yeah. Them. So it's like you. You wouldn't want to be around the people that you love when you, like, you know, the pain and everything. So sometimes it's the same way with them. They don't want to cause any more pain. Oh my god, even dogs? Yeah. Like, like, like I said with my dog, the same thing yeah. happened. Like, he knew and he knew that we loved him a lot. Baby. We're going to want to do blood work, maybe do other things. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't put that, like, that would be the worst scenario. I wouldn't yeah. put that first thing in our mind. No, no, no. Um, so I know his left eye is unfortunately he can't see from that would you say it would be more comfortable for him if we had to remove the this eye? yeah yes, yes. Yeah. at this point too I think that eye is maybe not salvageable what are the cons of doing a surgery like that is there anything but I think he's at an increased risk when he's under anesthesia. Um, you know, he would need to have very careful monitoring though because of his breed and his airways. I think there could be an element of pain from a variety of places, the eye, ears, mouth, joints. I think he's having a hard time breathing at times too. And you said it was a mouth disease or teeth? Dental disease. Dental disease. disease. Can you check? Check? Yeah, yeah, check. please, because they did the work. Check. Just the work. If not, because they're going to provide the best outcome possible when it comes to what the logistics would be behind the ears. Um, don't, and as far as physical therapy goes. Well, what was it called? Uh, canine cognitive dysfunction. And that's like an Alzheimer's? Yeah, kind of like dog Alzheimer's. Be Okay guys, so we just got back from the vet and unfortunately there was a lot of bad news that we got regarding Bosley. Um, number one, his eye. He is completely blind from one eye and the doctor said we should probably get that removed because it's just causing him pain and discomfort at this point. Um, the other thing he mentioned is that he has a dental disease. He has a disease in his mouth and he said that's, that's causing Bosley a lot of pain. He said that they need to do a procedure in his mouth but they can't do it right now because in order to do the procedure, they need to put Bosley to sleep. They need to give him the anesthesia. And due to Bosley being overweight and also uh, Bosley has difficulty breathing. So because of that, if they put him under the anesthesia, there's a risk that 
he won't wake up. So we can't do the surgery until Bosley um, loses some weight. Bosley also has an ear infection that the doctor gave us some medicine for. Um, the last thing that was mentioned, which is probably the scariest, is that Bosley might have Alzheimer's. They didn't give us a 100% answer on that because they had to take some blood, which they did today. So we should be getting results in a couple of days, but... <sighs> I really hope that it's not Alzheimer's. And then the other scary thing, what I was worried about was how Bosley tries to go into these small cracks that he just can't fit through. And seeing that message that somebody sent me, that scared me a lot. So when I brought that up to the vet and, and then she told me that, and then she told me that, you know, she had a similar experience with her dog where he was getting ready to pass away. So he kind of went away on his own and, and passed away in, in his, on his own. And guys, I don't even want to talk. I don't even want to think about that, but, but um, yeah, I mean, Bo Bosley's just, He's not doing too well. I just, I, I feel so bad for poor little Bosley. From losing vision in his eye, to the mouth disease, to the ear infection. I mean, that's a lot of pain for a little dog. That's a lot of pain for our little baby. You know what I mean? Um, I know a lot of you guys love Bosley and care about Bosley. You know, you guys have seen Bosley grow from this little puppy to, to the freaking king he is today. So, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys were concerned. I'm sure a lot of you guys said a prayer for Bosley, which I love you guys for that. Now that we got Bosley diagnosed, the next steps is to get him healthy. The next steps is to help him out. Um, it starts with losing weight. After that, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get the eye situation figured out. Once he's healthy enough to do the surgery and get his eye removed, he's gonna be cute little Bosley with an eye patch. He's still gonna be our little baby with an eye patch. You know, it's, it's gonna be hella cute. After the eye surgery, we're gonna get him healthy enough to remove his teeth from his mouth because he has rotten teeth and then he's still gonna be our little baby with an eye patch and no teeth and you know once we do that we're gonna get his ear infection figured out and then he's gonna be our little baby with an eye patch no teeth and clean ears you know no matter what happens no matter what we have to do we are gonna work to get bosley back to being bosley you know what i mean i'm just gonna ask that you guys send a prayer for bosley i really appreciate it my family appreciates it i love you guys all and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.